Hey guys, here we will see phi DCP SCE exam questions and answer means Google Associate Cloud Engineer questions and answer which is genuine. Let's get started. Question number one, your company runs one batch process in an on-premises server that takes around 30 hours to complete. The task runs monthly, can be performed offline, and must be restarted if interrupted. You want to migrate this workload to the cloud while minimizing cost. So what will be the answer? First one, migrate to workload computers into a printable VM. Migrate the workload to Google Kubernetes engine cluster with printable nodes. Migrate the workload to compute engine VM. Start and stop the instance as needed. Create an instance template with printable VM. On create a managed instance group from the template and adjust target CPU utilization migrate the workload. So what would be the correct answer? Here we can see 30 days perform offline also. So answer will be this one start and stop migrate the workload to compute engine VM start and stop the instance as needed. C is the correct answer. Number three, C. C is the correct answer because migrating the job compute engine is the best approach and starting and stopping VM as needed will save cost also. So run one batch process in an on-premise server. It takes 30 hours to complete, pop and offline. Oh, so you can see. So here links also, you can go to the links and check. Next question. You are performing developing a new application and looking for a Jenkins installation to build and deploy your source code. You wanna automate the installation as quickly as possible as easily. What should you do? We can see deploy Jenkins through the cloud marketplace. This is the correct answer. Create new compute engine. Create new Kubernetes. You can check. See the correct answer. Here is the correct answer. Because deploying Jenkins through the GCP marketplace is the best way to deploy. So here is the links, go and validate. Question number three. You have downloaded and installed the G Cloud command line interface and have authenticated with your Google account. Most of the computer engine instances in your project run in Europe West 1D zone you want to avoid having to specify this zone with the cli command when manage these instances that means notice, notice here you want to avoid having to specify this zone with each cli command when managing this instance that means you are going to make this zone as a default see the answer Set the Europe OST zone as the default zone using the G Cloud config subcommon. Yeah, this is the correct answer. Next, in the setting page for the compute engine under default location, set the zone in the CLI directory default.com containing zone. Create metadata entry. So, A is the correct answer. See, this is the explanation, and you can visit this link also. Question number four. 
the core business of your company is to rent out construction equipment at large scale all the equipment that is being rented out has been equipped with multiple sensor and send event information every few seconds these signals can be vary from engine status distance traveled fuel level and more customers are built based on consumption monitored by these sensors you expect high throughput up to thousands of events per hour per devices and need to retrieve consistent data based on time of the event storing and retrieving individual signals should be atomic what should you do so see the answer create a file in cloud storage per device append new data to that file create file in cloud file store per device and append new data to that file ingest the data into data stores store data in an entity group based on the device ingest the data into cloud big table create a row key based on the event stamps time so this is the correct answer see the correct answer uh, because cloud big table is petabyte scale no sql database and that is very good at storing and analyzing time series data here is the url you can visit next question question number five you are asked to set up application performance monitoring on google cloud projects a b and c as a single pane of glass you want to monitor cpu memory and disk what should you do so single pan one pan you will monitor all the project a b c what should you do enable api and then share charts from project a and b enable api then give the metric reader role to project a b and c enable api and then use default dashboard to view all project in sequence enable api create a wordpress under project a and then add project b and c this is the correct answer b is the correct answer enable api create a wordpress under project a and then add project b and c see the answer this correct because wordpress is made for monitoring multiple projects we can monitor multiple projects in a single wordpress this is the url all the urls you can visit and verify and check thanks for watching see you in the next video with more set of questions and answers